This recording is going to be on the Black Moon, Dark Moon, and Asteroid Lilith. As said by Encyclopedia Britannica, Lilith, Jewish folklore, Lilith, female demonic figure of Jewish folklore. Her name and personality are thought to be derived from the class of Mesopotamia demons called Lithu. And the name is usually translated as Night Monster. A cult associated with Lilith survived among some Jews as late as 7th century CE. The evil she threatened, especially against children and women in childbirth, was said to be counteracted by the wearing of an amulet bearing the names of certain angels. In rabbinic literature, Lilith is variously depicted as the mother of Adam's demonic offspring following his separation from Eve as his first wife. Whereas Eve was created from Adam's rib, Genesis 2:22. Some accounts hold that Lilith was the woman implied in Genesis 1.27 and was made from the same soil as Adam. Insolently refusing to be subservient to her husband, Lilith left Adam and the perfection of the Garden of Eden. Three angels tried in vain to force her to return. According to some mythologies, her demonic offspring were sired by an archangel named Samuel and were not Adam's progeny. Those children are sometimes identified as incubi and succubi. End quote. It has been said that Lilith, demonic woman, would kill offspring. She also was said to take the form of a serpent, a seductress, a siren, also described a succubus. In the snake form, Lilith lured Eve to eating the forbidden fruit. When looking back at ancient civilizations, most were patriarchal, and not matriarchal. Let's look at this definition from Webster Miriam on what a patriarch would mean. One of the scriptural fathers of the human race or of the Hebrew people, Abraham was a patriarch of the Israelites. B, a man who is father or founder, listed as 2A, any of the bishops of the ancient or Eastern Orthodox, Seas of Constantinople, Alexandria, Antioch, and Jerusalem, or the ancient and western sea of Rome with authority over bishops, the head of various eastern churches, a Roman Catholic bishop next in rank to the Pope, and a Mormon of the Melchizedek priesthood empowered to perform the ordinances of the church. End quote. So note here, all definitions would suggest patriarch being male in a powerful position. In many of these described, it was religious positioning. It's so convenient that Lilith's story is left out of the Bible. Catholicism and Christianity reject Lilith's tale. If Lilith's story was left, it would suggest that there was an equal born with Adam, this equal being Lilith. To push an agenda, the religious affiliate did just this. Women have thus sinned because of Eve's actions, Eve not being equal to Adam, therefore women not being equal to a man in society. Women have to earn their position within these confines, and it's still always less than a man because man is connected directly to God and has not sinned as Eve sinned. It would appear that Lilith was an independent woman who was rejected for demanding equality with Adam. Lilith was then painted as a demon. In astrology, Black Moon, Dark Moon, and Asteroid Lilith, her placement is very much symbolizing sexual repression. The part of all women wanting to express the sexuality or things that were not allowed, things that are taboo. It is a painful position in someone's chart. When looking at your Lilith, this will be things you view as shameful or wrong regarding your sexuality. Lilith's position seems to command respect 
and independence. And I love what Jewel and Truth Aspects said, authenticity. With Lilith and astrology, she is this alternate persona, the shadow. Similar to Jungian theory, where a person has a side of themselves that is repressed and oppositional, Lilith is also like this. It is not going to be something that someone recognizes as their personality, but rather Lilith reveals herself to the individual. It is also projected outward. Other people will witness and be seeing the shadow commanding to be indulged. If you are starving or repressing this part of yourself, it will emerge in manipulation, vindictiveness, and in other negative ways. Appearing as shameful wrongdoings or scandals can be found in this place. It's going to be unique for every person based on what sign is here and their life experiences. For example, mine is in Leo. This will differ from another person that also has a Leo position in Lilith. Perhaps my life experiences aided me in accepting this or made it even more angry, volatile, or repressed. Theirs will depend as well. I would say mine probably did not help this placement and brought out a more negative side to how I would view Lilith because I had very bad sexual experiences and trauma when I was a child. It will be hard to see this part of yourself if somebody isn't looking. It's in the subconscious where a person would really have to pull and be looking for this shadow within the self. Treading carefully because with a shadow, it will probably be a hard thing to look at within yourself, even when going into it with optimism or the desire for personal growth. So that was a little history on the Black Moon Lilith. I find her story and this placement to be very interesting, as I had said in my astrology video. Like and subscribe.